Remember that picture of a dress that broke the internet two years ago? The one that had your entire Twitter feed arguing if it was white and gold or blue and black? We talked about the dress back then, but good news, there's been some peer-reviewed research about it. Because even scientists can't resist a good viral picture. Over the last two years, studies have tried to determine if things like gender or genetics play a role in what color dress you see. But a recent paper suggests it might have to do with your sleeping habits. Researchers from New York University surveyed more than 13,000 people about their perception of the picture, their lifestyle, style and demographics, and the results were published last week in the Journal of Vision. Their analysis found that whether you think the dress is in shadow or light seems to matter the most when it comes to what colors you see. People who thought the dress was in shadow were between 20 and 40 percent more likely to think it was white and gold than those who thought it was well lit. That's because of how your brain deals with color constancy, which is how scientists have explained the dress since day one. As the lighting around an object changes, whether it's because of a setting sun or artificially colored light, your brain makes adjustments to keep the color looking the same. Otherwise, we'd be freaking out about a weird color-changing universe. Now, since shadows are mostly blue, if you think the dress is in shadow, your brain might take some of the blue light out of the image. This makes the dress look white and gold. On the other hand, artificial lights are more yellow, so your brain might have to subtract that color to make the dress look black and blue. Those results aren't that surprising, since we've known how brains deal with color for years. But what was surprising is that your lifestyle might affect how you perceive the dress. These researchers hypothesized that your perception of color could be tied to whether you're an early riser or a night owl. They figured people who got up early spend more time exposed to blue skies and natural light while those who love burning that midnight oil see more yellow artificial light. So the night owls might be more likely to assume the dress is lit by artificial light, so their brains adjust for yellowish light and see black and blue and the opposite for morning people. And the statistics seemed to support those ideas. This suggests that something as simple as what lights you're used to could actually affect how you perceive colors. Now, it's still not a perfect hypothesis, and it seems to only come into play when ambiguous lighting is involved. More research will have to be done before we can say anything for sure. So if anyone else has a weirdly lit dress photo they want to share, please feel free to come forward. In other news that's changing our perception on a much larger scale, we've identified a new ancestor to the dinosaurs. As published this week in the journal Nature, paleontologists described a new reptile fossil found in Tanzania in 2015, which challenges how we think dinosaurs evolved. Around 250 million years ago, during the Triassic period, a class of reptiles called archosaurs split into two main groups. One group went on to become modern-day crocodiles, and the other, sometimes called the bird branch, became dinosaurs and eventually birds. Many paleontologists thought that the bird branch started with chicken-sized, two-legged reptiles, but they didn't have the fossils to back that up. And turns out their hypothesis was probably wrong. They called this newly described reptile Teleocrater radinus. And based on its features and where it was discovered in the rock layers, it's believed to be one of the oldest members of the bird branch. But instead of being a small biped, it was two to three meters long and walked on four legs. It also shared features with dinosaurs and crocodiles, like similar skull features as dinosaurs and the same kind of ankle joints as crocodiles. This species links together other groups groups of reptiles we hadn't fully understood before. And paleontologists put them into their own new group at the base of the bird branch, called a faunosauria. Another paleontologist actually discovered teleocrator fossils back in the 1930s, but there weren't enough bones to place it on the family tree. But this new discovery had enough clues to figure it out, like those ankle joints. This finding is also cool, because we used to think that some of Teleocrator's features, like the distinctive skull shapes, evolved much later in dinosaurs. So scientists will have to reevaluate how we think about dinosaur evolution. This research team will head back to Tanzania next month to hopefully dig up some more information. But even now, it looks like early reptiles were even more diverse than we ever gave them credit. For. Thanks for watching this episode of SciShow News! We've been nominated for a Webby Award in the Science and Education category, which is super cool! Voting goes up until April 20th, and we've put a link in the description where you can vote for us! We'd really appreciate if you take a second to head over there and vote, and if you want to keep getting smarter with us, you can go to youtube.com slash scishow and subscribe! <laughs> <laughs>